BD5 Pilot with you, coming at you from the Hillsboro Hangar on a Sunday morning. And uh, I've been putting some more components on so I can take measurements and uh, see how things fit. And uh, and some people on the uh, Facebook have had some questions regarding uh, you know some of the ways I'm doing this uh, cooling and intake system that uh, I'm going to clarify with this video so you understand why some components are where they are. So I've uh, put the uh, left side engine cover and actually place that uh, that NACA duct in the location it's gonna probably rest. But the thing I was wanting to prove was that my uh, clearance here for the ignition system was gonna uh, be fine and not have uh, some chafing problems or uh, clearance problems with the uh, spark plug uh, wires on this side. And that, that works out actually fine. I'm happy with the, that clearance. And you can see the NACA duct fits up there nice and high and it's far forward that I can get it without uh, potential problems with the uh, rear cylinder there. And then that allows us to take off of those uh, outlets on the NACA duct and then uh, run it through a flex hose that turns 90 degrees and runs up into. Uh, I need the design probably out of just 20 thousandths aluminum is all I need to do. Is a, is a piece that fits up. There's gonna be a, a floor here for the luggage area so that the, the engine compartment's gonna end right up at this level. So this just needs to butt up against, have some RTV against the edge of that, as well as on the side and this side. So I create this forward air plenum that the air will enter through that NACA duct, turn through the, uh, the hoses and enter where that, that bulkhead is for the plenum forcing all the cold outside air to come in across the top of the motor here and pass through these cooling fins. And then they'll drop down across the exhaust and then finally into that exhaust jet Venturi that uh, Jim Beatty designed, which if it's gonna work, I have to seal everything else off. So I'll probably get some RTV and put it uh, slit down the center, down along where that flap uh, control mechanism is as well, so that I uh, minimize the airflow that's gonna be being sucked through that opening, so that I force the vacuum created by that exhaust jet Venturi, which uh, looks like it's gonna be about 800 CFM. It's gonna force the air to come through the top of the motor, pass through the cooling fins, and cause that uh, in engine system to uh, work as Jim Beatty designed it. Now. Then we look at the fact that the carburetors are here on the bottom of the motor, and I've got those uh, those uh, velocity stacks. And the engine's not going to run well in a vacuum, so I, I need to actually create a uh, a system for getting fresh, cool air to that 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 uh, is not in a vacuum. So that's why that uh, NACA duct on the bottom of the fuselage is resting there. That uh, gets used in a, a different aircraft for just an air intake in the cockpit, but that's large enough that I can I can feed off of that, run a hose up to another plenum that I build around those uh, intake systems on the, on the carburetor itself, those velocity stacks. And then uh, that allows me to also have a, an air filter in that mechanism as, as well. So I'm not gonna ingest uh, rocks and things into the dust into the engine. And that's going to allow me to remove the carburetor intake area from this engine compartment that's going to be needing that vacuum system to get the cooling air across. So that this is why this is coming together in this fashion so that I ensure that I get a good airflow into the engine. And I'm thinking on the bottom of the aircraft, that's gonna actually create a little bit of a high pressure area on the bottom of the aircraft that should uh, should help with uh, uh, keeping my uh, airflow uh, in flight, uh, give a, just optimize the performance out of this engine. Cold air and pressurized air into the engine and a uh, vacuum system that creates the airflow across this uh, engine so that uh, cooling system works in ways that uh, so far have uh, have not been proven because uh, no one's uh, been able to build this in a way that, that creates that pressure chamber that allows the air, air to be forced over the engine properly. Every time you stick another scoop or another vent into this engine compartment, you create a means of, of getting the air to travel 
path of least resistance and uh, and then uh, negate that ability to force it over the engine. So there's my thinking and uh, why I'm designing this this way. But uh, I've got a ways to go to, uh, to actually prove that concept. So uh, I'll continue working on this today. Probably what I'm going to work on next is, uh, is that latch assembly that uh, I got sidetracked with the fact that I had the engine. So I've been able to get this far with uh, proving concept on the engine, finding where the mufflers are going to rest. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and post this right now and uh, I'll do a a little bit more work on the plane and uh, see if I post another video for the rest of Sunday's work. BD5 Pilots out for now.